Good day, students. Hi, I'm Awoleye Oluwatoin, a biology teacher. The topic I'll be discussing with you today is water cycle and oxygen cycle. Under nutrient cycling in nature. At the end of this lesson, students will be able to explain the meaning of water cycle. Recognize the process that water goes through across the planet. Describe the part played by plants and animals in the water cycle. Discuss importance of water to living organisms and discuss the importance of oxygen cycle. Now let us enjoy the lesson together. Content Meaning of some terminologies Analogy of water cycle Meaning of water cycle Process of water cycling in nature Importance of water to living organisms Oxygen cycle and importance of oxygen cycle Key vocabulary words Here I have precipitation Evaporation Perspiration Percolation Infiltration Condensation and excretion Meaning of relevant terminologies Precipitation It is defined as any form of liquid or solid water particles that fall from the atmosphere and reach the surface of the earth. For example, rain. Evaporation. It is the process in which substances in liquid state change to a gaseous state due to an increase in temperature and or pressure. Perspiration or sweating is the process by which sweat is produced from the sweat glands. Often, in response to heat, is a size or stress. Percolation, it is the downward movement of water through pores and other spaces in the soil due to gravity. Infiltration is defined as the downward entry of water into the soil or rock surface. Condensation is the process by which water vapor in the air changes into a liquid water, for example, dew forming on grasses. Excretion is the removal of waste product of metabolism from the body of a living organism. I will use an analogy of what we have been doing at our various homes to explain water cycle. Now listen to this. A pot is filled with water and covered with a lid. Source of heat is applied by placing it on an electric stove. And the water is allowed to boil. Question. If the lid of the pot is removed, what will you observe? Observation. It is observed that as the water boils, it changes from liquid state to gaseous or vapor, which escapes into the atmosphere. Also, accumulation of water droplets is noticed on the lid, 
which eventually draws back into the pool of water in the pot. We go on break now and be back shortly. Welcome back. Now let us have some questions based on the analogy given. One, was condensation visible in that analogy? Answer, yes. Question two, how does this analogy model the process of condensation? Answer, the water droplets forming at the top of the lid of the pot is an example of condensation. Another question, what event in this analogy model precipitation? Answer, as the water droplets become larger, they began to fall back into the pool of water in the pot. That is precipitation. Now, let us take the meaning of water cycle. Water cycle is the continuous movement of water from the atmosphere to the earth and from the earth back to the atmosphere. In nature, water circulates mainly within the abiotic environment. Only a small proportion recycles through living organisms. Plants take up water from the soil in large amounts. Small amount of the absorbed water is used in photosynthesis and other metabolic reactions, while most of the water is lost by transpiration in plants. Animals take in water constantly from food and drink. They lose most of this water in the air they breathe out, in feces and urine. The composers release water during most decay processes. Combustion of most fuels also releases water. Open surface water and land are usually heated by the sun. This leads to evaporation. Water that enters the biotic component of the ecosystem returns to the abiotic component via respiration, decay, excretion, and transpiration. Question. Look at the diagram. Take note of the different arrows and complete the diagram. Now, answer. Look at the second diagram and take note of your correction. Process of water cycling in nature. Atmosphere receives water through evaporation from open surface water like sea, ocean, river, ponds, and so on. Evaporation from land transpiration from plants, breathing and perspiration from animals, respiration by plants and animals. Land also receives water through precipitation or rainfall, infiltration and percolation. These are the processes by which water cycling occur in nature. Now, if you compare the analogy on water cycle and process of water cycling in nature, the source of it is electric stove in the analogy, while in nature, it is the sun. In nature, water vapor cools, condenses, and precipitates back as rain on land and open sea. Whereas in the analogy, 
water vapor condense and drop back into the pot. Analogy is given to understand concepts, but it is not the main mechanism of water cycling. Now, question. As line the processes that water goes through across the planet. We will go on break now and we will be back shortly. Welcome back. We are going to perform a simple experiment. Aim of the experiment is to show the presence of water in expired air. Materials required bright blue color strips of cobalt chloride paper. Method. Take two strips of dry cobalt chloride paper. Place one dry strip on a dry table. Hold the second strip in front of your nose and breathe out on it. Note your observation. Observation. The one brought near the nose turns to pink, while the other strip is still bluish. Conclusion from this experiment. The change in color of the blue cobalt chloride confirms the presence of water moisture in the expired air. Now, importance of water to living organisms. Water acts as a solvent and transport medium in the body for hormones, gases, and food substances. It functions in distribution of body heat. Hence, it helps to regulate body temperature. Water is an essential raw material in the process of photosynthesis. It constitutes a large portion of the blood. Water is required for seed germination. It is the main component of plant and animal protoplasm. Water provides a natural habitat for aquatic organisms. It aids excretion of waste products by plants and animals. We can see that the importance of water to living organisms are numerous. Now let us discuss oxygen cycle. Oxygen cycle involves the circulation of oxygen between the living organisms and non-living things like fuels, water, and so on. Oxygen is released into the atmosphere, principally during photosynthesis, and it is removed from the atmosphere during respiration by animals and plants, as well as during combustion of fuels. Look at the diagram of oxygen cycle. Take note of the direction of the arrow. Importance of oxygen cycle. It enables oxygen to be available continuously for photosynthesis. It helps to make carbon dioxide available to plants for photosynthesis. All aerobic organisms use free oxygen for respiration. It combines with other elements like nitrogen, sulfur, and helps to maintain other cycles. It supports combustion and decomposition. Without oxygen, most organisms will not survive. It ensures purification of the hair to avoid pollution during decay. Those are the importance of oxygen cycle. Now, evaluation. You can take this question for self-assessment. One, discuss the importance of water 
to living organisms. Explain the importance of oxygen cycle. Assignment or take home. With the aid of an annotated diagram only describe water cycle. The question again. With the aid of annotated diagram only describe water cycle. Now we come to the end of the lesson. Thank you for listening. Bye.